The University of Central Oklahoma is a thriving metropolitan campus. We build strong connections at UCO, which includes public safety. UCO's Department of Public Safety is committed to maintaining a safe learning, living, and working environment. University police, emergency management, and environmental health and safety form our Department of Public Safety. Together, we serve, support, and protect the UCO community. We're easy to find on campus. We're located off of University Drive, just west of Old North. The UCO Police Department operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day of the year. There is never less than two officers on duty at one time. UCO police officers are commissioned by the state of Oklahoma and the city of Edmond. 17 CLEAT certified armed police officers and a full-time detective respond to emergencies, investigate crimes, and enforce traffic and criminal laws. University police. Communication specialists are often the first point of contact. They receive emergency calls, calls for service, and dispatch them accordingly. They monitor the weather, alarms, camera systems, and our radio communication system. They connect officers to serve you. An important program for the UCO Police Department is SafeWalk. Use an emergency campus phone or call the non-emergency number to get a member of the police department to escort you on campus. We want you to feel safe walking from one building to another or to your car. The SafeWalk program is for anyone at any time on campus. UCO strives to be a leader in public safety. We are the first university in the region to have a full-time emergency management director. He provides emergency management preparedness activities to the campus, including communication management and emergency response planning. The director of emergency management trains people in basic disaster response skills, fire safety, light search and rescue, team organization, and disaster medical operations. While emergency management is key to how we react to emergencies, Environmental health and safety serves a vital role in prevention. Environmental health and safety promote safe work practices and procedures. We do this by coordinating and managing environmental and occupational safety programs to keep our community safe from hazards. The fire marshal oversees all aspects of code compliance and fire safety and prevention on campus. Environmental health and safety emergency management, and university police. Together, our mission is to serve, support, and protect the University of Central Oklahoma. At the University of Central Oklahoma, we make it easy for you to connect with us. You may reach the Department of Public Safety at any time, day or night. We're located on the far west side of campus. We're off of University Drive, just a few yards west of Old North. Here are other ways to connect with us. Emergency call boxes like this one are located on the first floor of most academic buildings. You'll also find outdoor emergency phones in several areas of the campus. You may get connected straight from your own phone or computer. Central Alert is the university's emergency notification system that contacts you via email, text, or social media. During an emergency, Central Alert gives you the most up-to-date information. Get on Central Alert by going to Uconnect. Make sure your current cell phone number is registered via My Central Alert on the Personal Information tab in Uconnect. You may also opt in for weather-related campus closures. You'll get text messages when UCO is closed because of bad weather. Another way to connect is to download UCO Guardian, a safety app. UCO Guardian is an extension of Central Alert, so you'll get messages in conjunction with Central Alert communications. To set up UCO Guardian, go to the iTunes App Store or Google Play Store, download Rave Guardian, Open the app and log in using your UCO email and username to set up your account. The app also allows you, the user, to make panic calls to the UCO Police Department. From the panic call, the dispatch center will be able to get a GPS location right away, saving valuable time connecting an officer to the caller. 
Of course, always call 911 if you have an emergency. Here are other numbers to reach us for non-emergencies and a contact number for environmental health and safety. Do you know what to do if an emergency were to happen on campus? For instance, severe weather, a fire hazard, or a violent situation. Take some time to review the Red Emergency Procedure Guide. You'll spot one in classrooms and labs across campus. The guide contains information that will help you in an emergency. From where you are, know the best and second best route of evacuation from a fire or if you need to escape the building for another reason. Know where to go during severe weather. The emergency procedure guides have stickers on their holders specific to that location, telling you where you are and showing the closest safe area. Primary safe areas include these locations. Chambers Library Basement, the Quad Basement, Mitchell Hall Education Center Basement, Nye University Center First Floor North End, Murdoch Hall Basement, East End. The second best safe areas are any interior space without windows on a ground floor. For instance, a restroom that is away from an exterior wall. What if the emergency involves a physical threat, a violent attack, an active shooter? The Department of Public Safety recommends the run, hide, fight philosophy. Your first option should always be to evacuate. Run if it's safe to do so. If you cannot evacuate, hide. Hide behind any object, for example a desk, chair, a table, that will provide you protection but will not restrict your movement. If you cannot run or hide, your next option may require you to fight. Improvise a weapon. Once law enforcement arrives, make sure you show them your hands and follow their directions. Call 911 to report emergencies like crimes in progress medical help, a fire, chemical spill, or other environmental hazard. Contact these other numbers on your screen for non-emergencies. Together, let's keep our campus safe.